Saros120, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts, what I think of the Wii Zapper. Uh, uh, basically, it only requires the Wii Remote and the Nunchuck. Uh, that's basically all you need to hook on to this thing. I mean, it, it is kind of complicated to figure out how, what you got to do with it first, but it, it's okay. But it comes with a comes with a game called Link's Crossbow Training, and it comes in a paper case, which re can really screw up your disc, which is not very cool. So I had some extra money laying around. And I bought this thing, so my disc wouldn't get scratched up. Now, when I I got my Wii, I got this game, Wii Sports, and the paper case that it came in, it like really scratched up my disc. Now this thing holds two discs maximum. Uh, yeah, and. There's Wii Sports. Oh man. Alright, this is what happened to my disc in the paper case. Like, you see all them scratches? Wow. Yeah, that's all from the paper case that it came in. So, like, I got it for this and the, and the game that came with the Wii Zapper. Now, I'm going to actually play the game and share my thoughts on that. This is Link's Crossbow Training and you get three modes to play with. You only need one Wii Zapper for the multiplayer. The score attack, you go to, there's eight files which is a lot which is pretty good if you have a big family or friends. Uh, you start out with three levels, and you have to get 20,000 points, uh, for each level in order to lock, unlock another one. And that's pretty cool, you know, it gives you a challenge, because it's not very easy at first. Practice mode, you get to go to multiple levels. And, but, what happens when you finish all of them? Well, you just start to get bored. But it'll give you something to do for a while until another game that you're waiting on comes out. They could have put more in here, but, you know, the Wii Zapper is pretty much only uh, 20 bucks at Walmart or something like that and I'm going to actually play a level Let's see Basically, for this one, you go out and you kill a great deal of enemies. You remember those skull tulas. Enemies on the wall. <laughs> it just keeps you content for a while. Da, 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 I see you. Ah! Dead. Da, 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 da. You're freaking dead. Da, 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 da. Da, I know this is kind of spoiling the game a little bit, but it's just an example. Ah! 
Forgot that one was up there. Alright, where's that other one? There it is. Oh, I missed. Oh crap, I'm running out of time. And if you kill all the enemies on this level, you get a 500 score times uh, something. And there you have it. I would personally rate this game like four stars because it just gives you something to do for a while until eventually you just get all the levels and you play all the levels for a little while you get bored with it after you know you just get bored for a little bit now this you just adjust the little uh, pointer so that's kinda cool I guess and yeah there you have it this is Zero Alpha 120, and these are my thoughts on the Wii Zapper and Link's crossbow training. Hey, I know what'll cheer you up. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the mood. Are you sure? It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Wee ya, wee ya, wee ya, wee ya. Now there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Sorry, Brian. It's just not doing it today. Do the peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat.